Hey guys, the question is the Campbell company is considering adding a robotic pen to its production line. So here is the basic uh, um, information uh, of the question given. So here we have to calculate year zero net cash flow, net operating cash flow in year one, two, three, and additional year three cash flow and um, NPV of the project, and uh, we have to determine uh, should the machine be purchased or not. So let's start first. We calculate NPV of the project. So um, there are uh, four um, three years. The machine falls into the MECRS three year class. So first we take year zero, then one, and then two, and then three. Then um, then cost cost savings are um, but uh, before to save the firm but it is expected to save the firm 370,000 per year in before tax operating cost so cost savings are 370,000 let's copy and paste then depreciation first we calculate the year zero net cash flow year zero net cash flow is equal to base price plus another installing cost so not 980,000 plus 17,500, 980,000 minus 17,500, 997,500. So depreciation is equal to 997 into 0. M rates are for year one 0 0.333 0 0.3 then 997 500 into for year two 0 0.4445 0 0.4445 and then for year three 997,500 into tax rate oh, sorry depreciation rate in year third 0 0.1481 0.1481 so the um, profit before tax will be cost savings minus depreciation cost savings minus depreciation copy the form formula and then select the cells and paste the formula now we calculate taxes so profit for tax into tax rate is 25 percent copy the formula and paste the values So net income will, will be PVT minus taxes, profit for tax minus taxes. So net income is this. Now we add back depreciation. So depreciation. Then operating cash flows will be net income plus depreciation. So just copy the formula, select the cell and list the formula. Net working capital. Networking capital is uh, the machine would require an increase in networking capital of 13,500. So in year zero, it is an investment and in year three, it will be recovered. So in positive number. Now we calculate the after taxes service value. So the asset cost is 997,500. And uh, sorry. depreciation charged so in three years total depreciation is is equal sum of these depreciation so the wd written down value will be asset cost minus total depreciation now we will see the sales value of the machine so the machine falls into the ma it would be sold after three years for 637,000 637 So profit will be, there is profit of sales value minus WDV value, 563,085.25 dollar. Now we calculate tax on this value, 25% and just less uh, it from, and just less this from sales value, less taxes, then after tax service value.
So now we will take this after tax salvage value in this cell, investment cell. Now we calculate free cash flows. So free cash flows are operating cash flow plus networking capital plus investment. Just copy the formula, select the sales and paste the formula. Now we calculate present value factor at 12% which is given in the question that if the project cost of capital is 12% so here we calculate present value factors at 12% is equal 1 divided by bracket 1 plus 12% bracket close then power power of time time is this now just copy the formula select the cells and paste the formula now we calculate present value so free cash flows into PVIF just copy the formula, select the cells and paste the formula. Now we calculate NPV by total of present value is equal sum and then enter. So the NPV is 207,188.80. So this is our NPV. So now we will see the questions year zero net cash flow. So our year zero net cash flow is 997,500. Then net operating cash flows in year one, two and three. Operating cash flows in year one, two, three. For year one, 316,616.69 and so on. Now we calculate additional three, year three cash flow. So additional year 3 cash flow will be total of both of these value after tax service value and networking capital which is 13,500 plus 496,228.69 is equal to 509,728.69 So uh, now if the project cost of capital is 12% what is the MPV of the project? So the NPV of the project is 2000, sorry, 207,188.80. Uh, should the machine we purchased, the next question, should the machine we purchased? So here, after seeing the NPV, we can see that we should purchase the machine day because NPV is positive. When NPV is positive, we can purchase the equipment, machine day, etc. So here NPV is positive, so the machine should be purchased. So here are the solutions. In case any doubt, you can ask me through comment box. And please, please, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon. Thank you.